What's going on everybody? It's your boy Warmaster back again and today we're gonna have a look on the glory of General 3 official trailer by Easy Tech. So uh, it has been out for like two or three hours already for uh, the trailer and we're gonna have a look on what's coming from uh, this uh, new game uh, glory of General 3. So we have to start it right now. Okay. Okay, the logo of Easy Tech since 2009. So we got the uh, uh, screen right now. Okay, let's just go back a bit. So, um, let me see. Okay. Okay, so now we have the uh, UI. We call the user interface of the game, which is exactly the same as the cover that Easy Tech has been using on their Facebook page and their YouTube channel. So we have the campaign, army group, and united front. So campaign, as usual, you are pl uh, playing as a mission. Army group, uh, I think it's kind of something related to update or certain missions. And on the left side, the first one you will see a settings. Second one is a home page. The third one is a statistic. The fourth one is a gaming save, so data save. And the fifth one is the tab that gives you information about the game, about uh, what's, what's going on, and the tip about it. Okay, so. Now we have the campaign, so you will see there's so many stuff that we need to, uh, you know, talk about. First of all, we finally see uh, the general tab on the left side. Uh, this this one is kind of uh, suspicious. We never seen it before. Uh, might be something relating to generals making decision, or maybe how many generals do you have. And then on the bottom three, uh, there's a, a leaf sign, a statistic sign, and the achievement. And then you can see there's a British flag down the neath as well. And if you look into the mission, you have the Winter War, the war between the fin fin uh, Finnish and the Soviet Union. You got Operation Barbarossa, the North. You got Siege of Leningrad. Uh, why Leningrad is near Estonia? Or maybe you push from there to Leningrad? Uh, something really suspicious about this one. I hope they do not screw this again. We got Battle of Smokland, Operation Typhoon, Barbarossa at the middle, and then... Uh, I think there's another one uh, near the uh, force logo. I think it's a battle of Volga or something. Might relate into that. So Operation Typhoon is the uh, attack on Moscow, which is uh, fail. It not it did not go so well. The reason why it failed, well, because you know uh, there's so many Soviet troops ready to attack, and then the German did not have enough manpower to go against that. And uh, Barbarossa Middle, we've seen it before. Uh, the battle of Volga, I think this might be a siege of Leningrad. And then you have on the right side the full operation. You got Operation Typhoon, Barbarossa Middle, Battle of Voronezh. Voronezh also uh, is around a Caucasian area near Stalingrad as well. Also Donetsk campaign. Donetsk also around uh, uh, Sevastopol, uh, Crimea. What I'm trying to say. Okay. Back to World War Two and experience. And then you have the official look on the battle map between Heinz Guderian, Frederick von Bock, and uh, Georgi Zhukov. So on the left side you'll see there's an anti tank. There's a uh, anti-air unit, armor car, and another anti-air unit, and another forces, and another uh, a tiger tank, and a Gustav artillery. This one is really huge, and we finally see something uh, improving. We also have fortifications on mountain, and also fortification and entrenchment at Heinz Guderian tiger tank, and also a radar uh, behind the German assault infantry. And then if you look at the right side, you will see there's a Soviet units uh, with infantry. Uh, tanks, another NKVD, an armor car, and a cavalry unit, and also artillery barrage with Georgi Zhukov. And then you can see the generals. We have uh, Samyonin Timoshenko, uh, Govorov, Konstantin Rokosovsky, uh, Choykov, Vasilevsky, and uh, Ivan Gonev, Zhukov, and then we got Wadudin. The reason I find this quite uh, fascinating is that we can tell that now we have about eight. Soviet generals in the meantime, uh, they all look similar into the previous World Congress 4 game. They just have some sort of artistic look into it, which is way, way different from World Congress 4. And then you have the Shaman Timoshenko, and then you have the Special Force, which is the KV-6 and the T-28. Uh, this is quite crazy because the KV-6, it wasn't, it wasn't real. Actually, it was a planned type of tank, but it was not real. The last version was like KV-3 and KV-4, uh, but uh, for this to be at uh, an actual World War II thing, I don't think that would be nice. But I would say KV-3 KV or KV-3, that would be the deadline of it, or or even KV-1 or KV-1S. But to have the KV-6, 
Uh, it's too far, too far from reality. We also have a T28, another American tank as well. 25 chance of reduced damage by half when being attacked. Reduce enemy air damage by 30% in the area. Okay, 15 gold. And then damage. And now you can see that tank finally can move their head. Which means that it is way different from uh, World Conqueror 4. In World Conqueror 4, when you attack, when you're using unit, units tend to do damage at the elevation side. What I'm trying to say is that the units move, but their action does not move. Which means that if you use the tank, the tank definitely gonna move, but their movement head is not gonna change. But now, uh, uh, Timoshenko controlling the uh, KV-1 or T-3485, uh, firing direct at Heinz Skuderian Tiger Tank, and now finally, this tank can move its head, which is pretty cool, by the way. And then if you put on artillery, artillery barrage right now have a radius damage. If you, if you guys play World Conqueror 4, World Conqueror 3, you guys will know that artillery, normal artillery or hobbitzer deals only a certain damage, sorry, deal certain damage on certain area only. But right now, this artillery barrage can deal radius damage, which is a good thing. And we have another one here, I think it's at a uh, cheese now. Where the hell, i never seen it before. We got Frederick one bar. Uh, one Tiger Tank, two Armor Cars, three, uh, sorry, two units, uh, one Artillery, Gustav Artillery, and one Anti-Tank Artillery. And now you, if you look at the downside, you will see there's an Infantry, this is called Recruitment. Uh, you got Artillery, you got Air Support, you got Armor Cars, you got Switching Bombings and stuff. And, oh my god, this is really cool. You cannot use certain uh, uh, certain types of units, depends on the weather as well, because right now it's raining, and you can see there's a raining uh, logo on uh, the tab that shows about the uh, airplanes because if it's rain too hard that means you cannot move any units and now this one is in uh, i think it's in uh, uh, africa you can see montgomery and then you can see another german general i don't know his name it's not it's not a uh, it's not a uh, rommel but uh, there's another guy but uh, we can see leap leap is on a tiger tank this one this version is a, is it a virion or something because this one is way different from the previous tank we've seen before. We can also see Kurt Student on uh, army unit as well. Okay, you can see there's a different, there's a to uh, torpedo bombers, which is naval bombers. This one is way different. We have Scout. Scout used to show the aerial map because this map will have a, a fog of war. We have fighter, we have bombers, and then we have uh, torpedoes, and then we have strategic bombers. Okay. Okay, you can, oh, you can use strategic bombers on this now and then you have uh, paratroops okay and now you look and look at the sea in the pacific uh not really in the pacific i believe this one is in mediterranean you can see uh, uh cunningham and the other guy i don't know his name maybe uh i don't i think i play him multiple times i just forgot his name but we can see mias on the infantry at the edge of the shores okay and calorie sorry oh now carry has different stuff it can perform a scout, it can perform fighters, bombers. Oh, which is really cool, man. It's really cool. Something improving. Torpedo bombers. Very nice. And this is the freaking map, uh, which uh, somebody still complain. Uh, now we have 1939 and 1941, which is the uh, Western Front, the Eastern Front. We have the Hungarian Army Group. We have the General Force, Tech, and Metal. Army Group C. And then we can see there's no Luxembourg, which is uh, horrifying. Uh, I know a lot of people will complain about the borderline, but I can tell the borderline is okay, but people will complain about that. And there's a problem with the Czechoslovakia flag as well. Okay, so first of all, we have Hungary, okay, we have Czechoslovakia, but Czechoslovakia, this flag is the aftermath of the uh, Munich disagreement. Uh, but, we, but we have a this flag in early... 1936 or 39, which is not so sure about that. Uh, Poland is there, and then we have uh, another Polish city as well. Okay, if we go down south, you'll see Swiss, Italy, and Yugoslavia and Romania. Okay, they managed to add more, uh, you know, like uh, um, how do I call that? Um, cities, you know, we got uh, Ljubljana, we got Zagreb, we got Belgrade, which is really cool, and Tristy. And now you can attack German Army Group C's, Yugoslav First Army Group, okay. And then you reach the battlefield to defeat all the units. Okay, now you have a technology which is called Tactical Promotions. Upgrade all unit to design area. Broadcasting speech greatly improve the moral of unit in the area. 
units that have upper, already operated in design area kind of force march, spy, elif, false intelligence damage, and then if you have technology, you got iron wheel. Sorry, national, you got uh, iron wheel, air base, air, air carrier, aircraft carrier base, heavy plan. Oh, really cool. And then you got laboratory, you got transport order, missile, and nuclear bomb. This one is heavier. Satellite. Uh, recon tour detail information of any any good through military satellite. Okay, so you're gonna use a mass airlift. Mass airlift will it's way it's way different from airlift. So you can say airlift is a paratroops. So if you airlift or do a paratroop, you only drop one unit. But if you do mass airlift, you can see there are like six unit with uh two infantry, two armored cars, one uh, sorry, three armored cars, two infantry, and three three four infantry and two armored car. Okay. And then you can nuke, oh my god, it just nuke at Broslav. And for the Western Front, uh, United Front, okay, you got Poland Campaign. You got Operation Marida, I never heard about it, I will check later. Uh, you got Greco Italian War, you got Fall Gap, which is uh, Fall of Paris, German French War, okay. Poland Campaign, oh, this one is a mission, it's some sort of mission. So for Armor Car, you got uh, Guards Armor Car, Spearhead, Scorpion, Dragon Corps, Dragoon Corps. Prince Eugene and Yoshida, Japanese. And then for infantry, you got uh, Cossack Cavalry, uh, 442 Regiment, SAS, uh, Swalska Cavalry, uh, White King, Samurai, and White Death. So it's a reference to uh, the Finnish sniper, the White Death. Okay, this is a reference to the sniper. Okay, okay, very, very nice. And then, uh, yeah, okay, so for yeah, this one, for anti tank. Troops, you have the NKVD, the Irish Guards, Grenadier, uh, Akita, Patriots, and L-34 anti-tank from Finland. Also got a mortal troop as well. So, so many stuff to look at. Infantry, Scotland, Engineer, Royal Engineer, Pioneer, Rising Sun, Taurus Corp, and I'm not going to say that. Geberg, Jager, Geberg or Geberg, 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 Jager. And for artillery, oh, we finally have the SU. Jesus Christ, finally have the SU. The SU-76M, this one is a, some sort of uh, anti-tank which used by the Soviet Union uh, in the attack and defense of Operation Barbarossa. We got a Sexton, we got a Sturmtiger. Sturmtiger, a similar design to the Tiger tank, they, on, they only removed the turret, so they put on this one used as an artillery barrage. And you can see that the term Stiger has more damage, but it has no movement. Instead, we have the M7 Pierce, uh, which have uh, the same movement, same damage, and more health as well. But the more, the, which one has more health is the SU-61M from the Soviet, but damage is only 6, okay. And then you got artillery, you got heavy artillery. You got Kayusha, M12 GMC, Karl's uh, artillery, we got the Elephant, Elephant as well, and we also got the Mazarel. This one looks also as the Stirk, uh anti-tank. And for the medal, we have Victory Medal, Hero Medal, Honor, National, Cross, Empire, Combat, Air Force, and Armor, uh, Artillery, Infantry, and another inf uh, Admiral uh, Medal as well. For those who don't know the... Uh, how do I say that? Mm, the uh, registrations has already reached a certain amount of time, so definitely... You're gonna see this game really, really soon. So I hope you guys enjoy this breakdown or review, whatever you guys want to call it. Uh, I'm hyped for this one. Uh, hope to see that it's gonna be out, and maybe later it's gonna be cracked, and then we're gonna have some mod for this one. It's gonna be great. Hope you guys enjoy this. Leave a like if you do. Don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you guys next time.